Hey everyone, my name is Mrinal Kuteri. I'm presently a first year MBBS student at Ames New Delhi and I had secured joint All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021 and I want to talk a little bit about scoring 180 in physics. The minute anyone starts talking about scoring full in a subject or full in the exam, do understand that there is a slight role of luck which you cannot ignore. It is small, it, is, it does obviously depend on your hard work, dedication, perseverance etc. But you cannot ignore the fact that luck exists. You may have been fully prepared for the exam except for maybe one topic that you were not so thorough with. Or maybe there was just one topic that you weren't able to recall on the day of the exam. And because of that, you couldn't get full. So if something like that happens in the exam, all I'd like to say is be forgiving towards yourself. That can happen. Do realize that. And don't beat yourself up too much over it. That being said, how to score 180. The minute you talk about scoring 180, it especially in physics, it is important to, in my opinion, it is important to go beyond NCRT. Because physics is understanding based. There are so many ways a question can be framed from one single concept, right? So it is important to go beyond the scope of NCRT alone is what I believe. So um, I remember when I started studying physics like in 11th, it was, I used to read from the module and much of my learning used to happen in class because our lecturer used to give us a lot of questions to practice in class and much of learning in physics is actually learning by doing. It's less reading, at least the numerical portion, the theoretical aspect you need to read from, uh, you need to keep revising, we'll get to that in a minute. But the numerical aspect is more about learning by doing rather than going on revising again and again. So the most important thing is writing. So the first thing to do is practice as much as possible and go beyond NCRT. So I had mentioned about how my uh, lecturer used to uh, give us a lot of problems to solve in class and a lot of worksheets and you know questions that were in our material. A lot of these questions were not restricted to the scope of NEET exam alone, right? There were a lot of questions, uh, especially my, uh, I remember, uh, both the physics teachers had in 11th and 12th, they were, uh, they had also, they were primarily teaching engineering batches. So they used to give us questions that were commonly asked in the JE exam or were to be solved by JE aspirants also. And why did they give us that? For the basis of experience practice and conceptual understanding because the kind of conceptual understanding that you get by doing those kind of questions is unmatched. It is entirely different than what you can get by just reading NCRT and solving the kind of question that usually come in the exam. This may seem like a waste of time, I realize that, but this is one of those things which is high effort, high reward, right? If you don't have perfect conceptual clarity, you will find yourself relying on remembering the correct formula for this particular question. You think what was that formula which you know which has to be applied here. But the more you solve questions of uh, J, I'll just write that down. So you'll find that the more you solve questions of that level and when you reach the stage, like initially you will not be able to solve it. No one gets it at the first. That's okay. Initially when you start solving those questions, approach it from a viewpoint of learning, of gaining knowledge, of understanding how to start with these questions because there's a way to approach them which is again different. You need to approach it from and attack the problem from so many different sides. So when you start solving those problems, just look at the, if you don't get in a while, no problem, without any guilt or, you know, feeling of uh, embarrassment, go to the solution, see what they have done, okay. Soon you will find that you are, appro you are able to solve these questions yourself and how are you solving it? You are starting from the ground level. You are thinking which concept, which theorem or which, you know, funda is to be applied for that problem and then working from the base level, finally understanding which, pro uh, which formula is to be applied and then solving it. 
what is the advantage of this some questions are not directly formula based they need thinking they need understanding and that is possible only with in my opinion only with practicing questions beyond pure ncert level now this i have spoken about the numerical aspect uh, about this doesn't however i'd like to add actually this doesn't mean you don't practice neat level questions at all the main thing is like all said and done about having concept uh, conceptual clarity and everything you you're writing neat and if you're writing neat time management is an extremely important thing you won't have as much time as you want most likely which means you need to be able to use shortcuts it's also like you need to be able to solve fast not just accurately but fast so in that case again practice is important practice of the you know pure neat level questions also why because once you do that the formula kind of gets implanted in your memory you will be able to know what formula to apply which will help you solve the question in a single step the minute you look at it and th when you see all the variables which are in the question right so practice all question types to improve speed yeah. yeah so that was about the numerical aspect the other thing which is often neglected i feel is the theoretical aspect of it you get a few like maybe 20% like i can't put a number but you do get a few theoretical questions as well in physics you know which is direct theory and almost all the time it is lifted straight from ncert a lot of people neglect ncert in physics because they only look at this part of it of you know how you have to go beyond ncert and how ncert alone is not enough for physics that is only partly true i feel like even ncert alone, you see that all these things i am only talking about understanding what is given in ncert in a more comprehensive and complete manner so in a way that is also ncert based right but one place where ncert is directly of use to you is in theoretical question because those are almost always picked up directly from ncert lot of people don't read ncert and they lose out here because of that i did i remember when i was initially preparing and i hadn't given due importance to ncert so let me hit that revise ncert text for theory this will ensure that those few questions which are theory based and th that's another way you can save time those are directly theoretical you read the question and you'll know the answer if you know the answer and you can save a lot of time there which you can use for the more uh, calculative questions so that's about it the this i think in, in to put it in short for numerical portion read ncert but read beyond ncert as well solve questions which are beyond neat level while at the same time not neglecting what is neat level because it helps you improve your speed and you know uh, calculation efficiency and speed again speed only there and revise ncert text for the theoretical questions uh, that's about it those are all the tips i have hope it helps you out thank you so much good luck with your preparation